Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. And if you thought this game was over, it's not. So here we go. We are in Endgame and we have this note. Monastery of the Black Veil. I think it would interest you. I learned of it from a man from Ravenglass. If you're ever in that part of the world, you should ask him about it. Okay. So, it's not the Monastery of the Black Veil we're looking for. We're actually looking for the man in Raven Glass at Horseshoe Inn. Raven Glass. I am met by a man with a thick black beard and kind eyes who is delighted to have found a willing ear to listen to his stories. You won't find the Monastery of the Black Veil. Marked on any map, they don't want to be found. The monastery was on the edge of a wood. I remember that much. We must have been heading west because I could feel the sun on my face, and it was evening. We crossed two rivers for a... Then we followed a river for a while. I could hear it to my left as we traveled. They left me here in Ravenglass, and I've stayed ever since. As I turn to leave, he adds, Here, if you're serious about going, you'd better have this. So it's going to be east of Ravenglass, is what it sounds like. Oh, it's an elixir. Thief of the Storian. <laughs> Ooh, Dark Flower of the Tomb, which is spelled differently in the book. Stench of the Twilight. Okay, so here is our... Put that down. So are we looking... Are we bringing them... Like, I'm surprised I got this this letter. But I'll take a look. And then there's this. I don't know what this card is yet. This reminds me of the... Um, the mountain uh, heights. And then the, the circles for towns. So... Let's take a look. Also, I have plants identified here. I counted. I have 76. So I'm not sure. I, maybe we're missing a plant. But we do need to identify the rest of them that are here. Um, will to explore. Let's go do this. Okay, so we were just at Raven Glass. Raven Glass. So they, they were heading west. Which means they were this way. Um... I could hear it to my left as we traveled. This one, I'm thinking. We crossed two rivers. Definitely crossing two rivers here. Okay, they were heading west, yep. We crossed two rivers. Um, the monastery was on the edge of a wood. Orver? Maybe it was on the edge of Grisdale Forest. He doesn't mention crossing a lake. Maybe it's here. Okay, so let's take a look. The edge of a wood. I remember that much. We must have been heading west because I could feel the sun on my face as it was evening. We crossed two rivers. Then we followed a river for a while. Oh, okay. They crossed two rivers and then followed it for a while as they were heading to Ravenglass, and it would have been on their left. So I'm going to say it's here. They want the elixir of Black Veil. Vale. That's what I was wondering, if I needed to make it first. Okay, well, at least we found it. So let's make the elixir. Leaf of the Storian. We know that one. We're pretty certain this is the Storian. Dark flower from the tomb. It would be T-H-U-M. Don't think I identified it, though. No.
Okay, we're looking for this kind of leaf. Dark flowers. I feel like those leaves are right on. There's like five here. Okay. And the stench of the twilight. I don't know what that means. So we're actually just gonna take a look here. And see if we have something. Twilight in the name. There's sunset. Sometimes called stinking mount cap as a result of its unpleasant odor. It does say stench of the twilight, so sunset would be twilight. Uh, sunset and mount cap. That's you. I... Let's hope for the best. Okay. I messed something up. I actually think it's this one. Although that's pretty good, right? It does stink. The stench, sunset, and twilight are about the same. No seed will grow that does not wither, no water will languish upon the river, no man will last forever hail, we all will wear the blackened veil. Sounds like a death cult. Mm. Nope. Oh, twilight. Huh. In the twilight where shadows grow, take leaf and root and eye of crow, a plant of gloom and despair and dark magic. Do not be fooled by the pretty flower. The smell it gives off is quite foul. There it is. And I thought it was going to be this, right? Oh, pretty flower. It says just one, right? Yeah, these leaves look pretty identical, but I think there was something else we thought these might be. Or no, that was... Brittle. Okay, let's... Give this a go. Hope for the best. Silver! Awesome. Okay, we did it. Which... Is this one mean... Or this makes this the Twilight Lepiota. And what? It just... A plant of gloom and despair and dark magic. Sadness magic? Sure. Okay, now let's go. Raven glass, right to the edge of the wood. And then we hand them... We should label this thing too. Uh, where is it? Right here. This is Elixir Black Veil. I'm just gonna say Black Veil. Elixir. What does it do? No idea. The third member of the trio accepts the elixir and together they disappear into the monastery. Sometime later, they return with a stack of parchment. Wow. Wow, okay, there's quite a few there. So we have this one's done. That one's done. Alright, so that quest line's done. Plants identified 61 out of 77. 
that was 58. So that means we definitely identified this one. No, we didn't. Wait, yes, we did, didn't we? Uh, where'd it go? Dark Flower of the Tomb. That's the one. Yep. We called this one Tomb. And this, uh... Fragrant. Death? I don't know. Okay. Close that up. And we're still looking at this here. We have... Okay, so we're looking for what I think is a mountain with a town. Let's look for that first. Mountain with a town, like two up diagonally from it. So mountain, nope, not gonna be this top row, not that one, not that one. Oh, Bofell. That looks right. But then it should be another Town here and town here, I think. So let's keep looking. No. Old man, no. Nope, on that one. Black comb. It's wind side. But then we would have to have one here and one here and we don't have that either the mountains over here that one's a no-go it's like the only one i can see here and here but there's nothing there that would mean this would be the spot. But I don't think so. Because we're not seeing two towns in these spots. I wish you could have like a marker to just mark up. Like not this one, not this one. Is there are two towns that are adjacent like that. Let's look for that. These two. There's two there. We really can't see. I mean, there's it's showing a mountain here, which it would show on here. Or should show on there. There's these two. Oh, here we go. White Barrow, Sizer Castle, down, down, over. There's one down, down, over. There's one. So we go up two, one to the right, and X. The sun is low in the sky. I am tired after a long day. I have earned this reward. Oh, that's pretty. New plant acquired. Okay, that should be 77 plants. Oh, man. I'm going to move all of the ones we've labeled over. Although, can we take customers now? Can I fit you on there? I can.
So that should be 77 plants that I have. And so that means we have six. See, we have six to identify, but there are some we haven't like confirmed identity for. So let's ring a bell and see what we get. Ah, oh, Simone's back. It's good to see you too, Hellbore. It's been a while. You seem as relaxed as ever, though. Nothing ever phases you, does it? I must admit, I've been buried in my books and seem to have missed all the excitement. I hear you and your plants had a part to play, though. I've been collating some information on a selection of plants for a little book I'm putting together. I was hoping you could help me finish identifying all these plants. Yes. Let's start with the Moonlight Flower Bella Knox. I've always loved that one. Let's do start with it. Oh, okay. This one. Moonlight Flower, dark, mysterious, and beautiful, has enchanted people for centuries. It is thought to send people mad with obsessive desire, seductively luring them to their deaths like a siren's call. Oh, so she's going to help me identify the rest of them. Is that what's happening? So that one was Bella Knox, which means beautiful night. Um, Siren's Call. I'm just going to call it that. Spring Wax Cap. That's a mushroom. This is cool that it gives you an end game to identify everything. Spring wax cap. Oop. This is the one with the short triangles. Ah, Haveridge. Some romantic soul once gave me a stem of Haveridge. I think I identified something I thought was Haveridge. Haveridge. Couple superstitious gift. I gagged on the scent. He took it as a bad omen. Okay. Fool's Midnight. Um, it looks like a mushroom. The dark mushroom. Dark mushroom. Sharp taste to those brave enough to try it. It smells rotten. Cool. This is edible. It's just edible. Okay. Demo? No, oh, look at these. These leaves right here. Thistle, related to the common thistle. Yeah, I'm thinking this is demo. Okay. Common thistle. Leaves are occasionally brewed into a tea. Anxiety. Demo anxiety. Not that we really need to know what they do anymore, but... Uh, Lesser Mary Doc. We know this one. We know this one. This one was given to us specifically to use. Right here. The one that smells like strawberries is that bulb one. This one. 
umbrella. And change that one to yellow. Evulum. Many short, pretty leaves. Evulum. Awesome. Switch it to yellow. Penny Bell. I'm certain it was this one. Uh, where? Where is it? Here. Here we go. Seven left. Birdum. Oh, that's easy. We have one flower that has leaves like that. Um, oh, it's tasty. Oh, but it brings bad luck if you have it in your house. Uh, Poliscus? Poliscus. Rush into a paste to cure coughs and sore throats. Cure does not work. Um. I mean, it has this kind of thin tenderly, but so does this one. Our aroma is sharp and citric. Long, thin leaves. Ooh, okay, now we're getting tough. I'm certain I don't have one of these labeled. We did confirm this lark shine. Where is it? We did confirm that. Lady wanted it for her garden to keep away. Those seeds of redemption, people. Riddle. We're looking for Poliscus. We also confirmed Blowhorn. We confirmed Dead Man's Fingers as well. Okay. We just confirmed Spring Wax Cap. Riddle. Move this over here since these are all confirmed. Possibly confirmed. These are definitely confirmed. 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 Not so... Oh, wait. These are definitely confirmed because we used them in that ritual. Okay. So we're down to... We confirmed that one, Bellinox. I'm going to lose it if I put it down there. We're down to four, but we still have six to identify. Oh, okay. We never confirm Butterdale or Candlewood. Candlewood we used in a potion. I'm going to confirm that one. All right. Oliscus. Flour is crushed into a paste to cure coughs and sore throats. Okay. There's only two here that have leaves that look like this. I'm going... I want to go with this one because it looks a little more wispier than those do. So let's just try it. Oliscus. Is that... Lyle of Neptune. Oh, 
Oh, this one? Oh, is it this one? That does look more like it. Aromatic. Gives off a strong scent. Okay. Bishop's Parasol. We did this one once upon a long time ago. I thought we confirmed it. It was one of those long loop, lupus, lupin looking th ones. Oh no, that's Solomon's Scepter. Uh, Bishop's Parasol. He's a mushroom. Milky fluid. Okay, these were all confirmed. It's got to be this one. Wait, does it say, um... Yeah. White liquid. There it is. Butterdale. We never did a confirmed Butterdale. Oh, put it in the wrong one. Carnivorous taurin is easy. We only have one carnivorous plant. Okay, so we have two left. This should be super simple, right? Priddle and carnivorous taurin. Priddle. There it is. Achievement experienced horticulturist. I had a feeling we'd get one. Well, that seems to be all of them. You know, I think you've earned the right to call yourself an experienced horticulturist. Closed. End day. There it is. We finished the game. All of our things are identified. We are good to go. Let's see what happens now. Back to the beginning. All right. That was great. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next series.